So we're on our way to meet Francis Bitanti, who is an interdisciplinary designer who merges 3D printing and artificial intelligence. We're going to head over to East London now to meet him at a maker cafe and to discuss a little bit about his uh, really exciting work. I started my career in CGI. I got kind of bored of that and I decided I wanted to work more with materials and I went to architecture school. Yeah, it's been a winding road. Then I actually transitioned into product design um, and then I opened my own studio. So the studio's been in existence for three years now. Right. Can you just um, take us through some of the projects that you've been working on? We started really working in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing a lot of complex geometries that were very ornamental. And we worked with Michael Schmidt Studios and Shapeways to do a dress for Dita Von Teese. Yeah. Um, it was like our first really big kind of editorial piece. And that um, had how many parts? I think there were th 3,000 unique mechanical moving parts. They're all different. Like small fashion labels are, are very much like held back by, by, by not having access to manufacturing. If you really look at the, the way 3D printing works economically, you're, you're not incentivized by economies of scale. You're, you're very much incentivized to distribute, do lots of small batches. That kind of model of distribution is much closer to, to how you would think about managing like a social network, right? Like I think like, like Facebook is much better positioned to be like the manufacturer of the future than our current manufacturers in a lot of ways, right? Because you're going to have to aggregate a lot of distributed resources. Materials are very important to you, obviously. Yeah. Well, what's great is you can print, you know, with multiple materials, you can print multiple materials in one build, right? So, right? so you can start embedding lots of functionality into a single part. Whereas before you might have had to have like a large assembly line putting together a lot of components, you know, you might just be printing two or three pieces and dropping in your silicon. Right? So that's like that's drastically changing the way these, these things are thought of. Sure. Well, we look forward to seeing that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Great pleasure, pleasure talking to you. So completely fascinating chatting with Francis. Um, one thing I definitely got the feeling was that he feels that additive manufacturing really is at the kind of the beginning of its journey. And I think that what's interesting is that we're going to see all kinds of manufacturers thinking about how they can innovate and how they can do things better and more efficiently. And this car is interesting because it has an all aluminium chassis, so that makes it 190 kilograms lighter than its predecessor. So that is going to be, I think, just the beginning of many uses in industrial design for additive manufacturing.